Uh, my name is Greg Spies and I have an architectural antique business and I buy the contents of uh, churches, houses. Well, what I used to do, you see a nice stained glass window and you'd knock on somebody's door and... Buy them a brand new window Buy them a brand it. new window, replace I'll give you 200 bucks, put the glass back in, yeah. go on your way. You got, got a lot of stuff for nothing because there was no value to it. Yeah, you can take that stained glass window or you can just take it because I don't want it. What are these, Greg? These are like wow. folk art churches. Man. They're pretty wild. These things are miniature churches, probably from the 1800s, each with a handmade clock right in the center. These things are super cool. That's amazing. That's probably going to die with me. That's loud and clear, not for sale. Wow, what's what's the history of that? I'm not going to sell that. I don't want to sell it. What do you get for something like that? That one I, I don't want to sell right now. I don't want to sell it. For your man cave, Frank. That I can't sell you. I'm nope. going to tell you real quick. <laughs> tell me a story on that. He wanted to keep it because it reminded him of a pick he was on. What's that, a horseshoe over there? Yeah, I'm not going to sell that either. Ah, okay. quit teasing me. Uh-oh, Mike. I saw that pond boat. What's the story on that, Greg? I don't want to sell that either. <laughs> this is the I don't, this want, to is the I don't want to sell it room. You know, sometimes you get emotionally attached. It's not really emotionally, but it's maybe psychologically attached to it. What about the wrench, man? No, I don't want to sell that either. We thought that Greg was a motivated seller, but everything that we want upstairs here, he's cutting us off at the knees. I'm probably going to keep that for now, but I'll, you know. <laughs> you should have told me that before I picked this sucker up. It's getting to the point where I'm wondering if he's even going to sell us anything. How many of these do you got, Greg? About 20. I'm not quite ready to get rid of them yet. What about this piece behind you? Where's that out of? I don't quite want to get rid of that yet either. No, I don't want to do it. No, no's an answer. Hey, what about the thermometer? Don't want to sell it. We're not packing it in yet, but we're getting close. Here's something you might like. Looks like an Excelsior. Looks like that to me. A lot of the bikes, I was told, were test ridden on the roof of the factory downtown Chicago. Well, what do you want for something like this? 10 bucks. I'd give you more. I'd give you 50 bucks for it. Whatever. I love it. I mean, Whatever. because there's, there's four photos here. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'd do 50 Good. on it. I love that. PT built. Oh my See a very cool handmade wooden boat. It's a naval ship. That I'd sell you, but it needs some work. How's it looking? You got the flashlight. It's, it's fixable. It's not in great shape, but the nuts and bolts of the piece are amazing. It's handmade. That's the biggest thing about it. What do you value that at? Buck fifty. A buck Hundred, fifty. Hundred and fifty. Pretty cool. Days. Military collectors would love a piece like this. It's nautical. It's got a great look to it. All right. I can't even talk you down at 150. You're making me buy it. There you go. There you go. I, I gotta make it. it worth your while. I love it, I appreciate it. All right, we got everything? Yep. One great thing about meeting Greg was, I mean, he's a dealer, but he's really close to us. He knows a guy that fixed stained glass windows. He makes woodworking stuff. I mean, we might be able to use this guy in the future. We'll see ya. Take it easy. Yeah.